Nico and this is Juan and today we're going to be talking about the Colombian ex-terrorist group Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, better known as FARC. The ex-terrorist group was founded in 1964 because of the injustice between the wealthy and the poor in Colombia. The group wanted to establish a new government in Colombia and redistribute the wealth among the country. The main or supreme leader of the group was named Timo León Jiménez, better known as Timochenko. The FARC had areas of operation which were Colombia, Panama, Venezuela and Brazil and Ecuador. The group was first deemed a threat to the country when it was first when the first notable attack terrorist attack happened on June 3, 2004. The attack was on Coca farmers who were found shot and killed. The FARC had taken responsibility for it and had said they killed the men uh, for support of the right-wing parliament. Um, for those of you who don't know what the right-wing parliamentaries are, groups of acting in opposition to revolutionary Marxist-Leninist, which is a political ideology of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. The second important attack was taking place in the town of Toribio. A cylinder gas bomb was exploded, killing a child, a child and wounded 20 citizens. The attack was provoked by FARC's ongoing conflict with the Colombian government. This attack caused the many of the Colombian people go against the FARC, as they said their attacks caused too many unnecessary deaths. The last notable terrorist attack by the FARC happened on July 17, 2008. Uh, when eight civilians were kidnapped and held for a week before being released. This gov uh, the government also believed there were 800 other hostages. Even though there were several other attacks, they were not considered notable terrorist attacks by the Colombian government. Some of the attacks include bombing electricity towers, bombing oil wells, and bombing construction sites all around Colombia. Some of the counter-terrorism efforts include the Colombian security forces invading headquarters, ambushing them, etc. But many of these efforts failed and the FARC ended up attacking many of the security forces. The US, the US decided to donate 500,000 soldiers to help the Colombian government defeating the FARC. The Colombian government and FARC guerrillas have declared the final day of one of the oldest uh, world's oldest wars with the signing of ceasefire agreement to end more than 50 years of, of blood. Thank you for listening. This has been Nico's and One Presentations. Don't forget to like and subscribe.